and Barbara. And I'm Karen, and we're the Sync Sisters. This is our tech bit on Google Sheets dashboards. So we've been working hard bringing all of these Sheets videos to life, and now this is right. sort of the coup de gras, the grand it's moment. The culmination <laughs> of all our efforts. Everything coming together and creating a dashboard. And right. What is a dashboard? What is a dashboard? Well, a dashboard is a place, uh, a quick visual way to look at your data. Kind of like it comes from the dashboard of your car where you can see how fast you're going and what your oil level right. is and things like that. A quick... All at one glance. In one right glance. There. Yeah. Right. And it changes as things change, um, just like it does in a car. So as you change your data, it'll right. reflect on your dashboard. And you kind of see dashboards everywhere now. You do. I feel like everybody On the internet, you mean. Yeah. yeah, yeah every, right. Everybody has a dashboard. Yeah. It's kind of like the in thing. So right, right. Your you bank. You should create a dashboard yeah. and be cool, right? Right, right. <laughs> your bank, your web, you know, your any professional associations yep. you're with. If you're a YouTuber, you've got the dashboard and... Um, it's a great way of looking at things, and I think, um, especially if you're analyzing a lot of data, yeah. it's nice to put things on a dashboard, charts and graphs, so you can have a quick visual way of looking at of it. Of different things you want to keep track of. Exactly. Great. Well, let's see how to, um, how to make a dashboard. Let's take a look at it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to navigate to our drive, um, which is drive.google.com. Because we like to start here. We can. Like you could also start at Sheets, Sheets if you wanted to. Google.com. But we like to go here because we just do. So we everything do. is in one place. So we can see our all our documents in yep. one place. Um, we have a great video on Google Drive. We do. We yep. do. You can learn all about it. And um, here we are in uh, Ms. Gillette's ah, for our famous phase. Sheets file. Sheets file. We're using, again, teacher data, but of course works for sales, scientific, you know, any, any kind of data you have. It works for anything. Right. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at um, our spreadsheet um, along the bottom. We have created a lot of things. First of all, we have our yep. main sheet, which is the data. And this Everything. data may have come from a big computer system at your company where they gave you a bunch of data. Right. And now you're looking at ways that you can analyze it. And then we've created a variety mm -hmm. along the bottom. You'll see all these tabs. Over our various videos right. that, that I'm sure everyone has watched. Right. So here's a pivot <laughs> table we created on the ages Pivots. per period. Um, that's our pivot chart or pivot table video. Yep. Here's a, um, um, another pivot table we created to show the average test score per mm -hmm. period of our classes. Yep. Um, Here's one with test averages. And we're showing different types of charts, which our Google Sheets charts video um, goes over that, how to do right, different right, types of charts. Right. This one happens to be a pivot table with a chart. Um, oh, and some of these are just charts by themselves. Now, you see, I can also use these arrows down here to scroll right and left because okay. I, I have more. <laughs> Here's just a chart that we created that we put on its yes. own tab. Basic and plain. Um, basic and plain. No pivot chart with that one or this one. Crazy um, chart. So... What we're going to do, um, there's another chart that was just created from the main sheet. Right. So some of this data has been created from the main sheet. Just create a chart, a chart and put it on yeah. its own page. A chart. A chart. No, a chart. <laughs> and some of it has been created using a pivot table to yep. extract and look at right. the data differently. Now that we have these all on different tabs, we might want to create a dashboard to bring the key things that we want to keep track of at a glance. Right. 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 So we're going to come into to our main page, and then we're going to go up to file. and Oh, not to file. I'm sorry. We're going to go down here to the, this Nine. area to the plus sign. Yep. Add a sheet. Add a sheet. You probably can do it up in the menu, too. We're going to add a sheet, and it's going to come up just a blank sheet. You see it names it Sheet 5. Uh -huh. uh, the first thing I'm going to do is double-click here, and I'm going to call it Dashboard. Uh, I'm going to call it 2 because I already have one, right. and it's not going to like that. So... Dashboard to two, yep. and um, I think it's nice. We think it's nice to turn off the grid lines because this is you're going to have a bunch of charts here, mm -hmm. and you might even want to make it look prettier. Select the whole uh, worksheet by clicking, clicking the upper there. left hand corner cell, and then come over here. And instead of white, maybe I want to make it a pink background. Right, it would be very sink um, sisters. Very sink sisters. <laughs> you can still see the little cells as you still tap around. Out the cell yep, based still cell based. And um, we're now ready to go. I mean, we might you, we yeah. might we might title it. We'll do that later. So we'll, we're going to okay. go ahead and we're going to find um, we're going to go in here and I think the first one that we're going to put on is actually down here. We're going to go out here. We're going to do an individual test scores because okay. I want to be able to see at a glance how my kids are keep doing. Keep track of that. 
Right. So what I'm going to do, and this is a chart that has been copied onto its own page. I'm going to go ahead and copy chart or its own sheet. I'm mm -hmm. going to go up here to copy chart, click on it, and then I'm going to scroll back to our dashboard, dashboard two. two. Yes. And then I'm going to go to edit and I'm going to paste it in. Wow. And here it is. And there it is. And I need to make it um, maybe a little bit longer so I can see everything, all the names, see yeah. if it's up short, it doesn't show right. us all the names. So I'm going to go down until I know class average is the last one. And, you know, you can work around with that and watch our um, video on charts and you can learn how to change the way it looks and the color and all that kind right. of stuff. Right, we've so got that the way we We'll leave it. that there. So we have test assessment there. And then we're going to go over to um, test scores by period. This is a gauge type that chart. That is cool. Isn't that fun? You just pick that in the chart editor under chart types. Right. Gauge chart. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of fun. So we're going to come in here. We're going to copy that chart. Okay. So that's a different way to copy. Right. Because this was created using a pivot chart. So it's okay. not on its own page. Um, so you have to but come here. But it is, here. kind of. Right. But, but it's you not... could have more, more charts on this pivot chart page. I could have many charts yes, or right. none. So, yeah, it's a little bit different than bit different. Um, when you create a chart and you put it on its own page like that other one was. It, right. The menus are in a different place. You yep. know, we, we cover that in the charts video. So copy the chart down here. Go back to Dashboard 2 and uh, paste it in. Okay. And there it is. And, and I can move, them around, move it around anywhere I want. want. Okay. Uh, and then let's go and just take a couple more. Okay, Here's test scores. Okay. Um, by class, district, and state. Mm -hmm. So I can see how my class is doing compared to the state or the district average. I'm, my class is not doing as well as the district, but it is Ugh. doing better than the state average. So that's good. And we're on the rise, so that's good. <laughs> so I'll go ahead and I'll... Your mythical class. <laughs> yes, my wonderful students. And I'll bring it over here and I'll paste it in here. And we got that. And again, you can just pick these up, move them where you want. You can scale them. You know, yep. you gotta be careful. Sometimes it's gonna cut off your data, and you don't have a lot of ability to change uh, right. the names and stuff like that. But you can come in here and put your things okay. in. So basically, you just create your um, right. create whatever you Let's want look on at the here. The final one you've created. Yeah, and the kind of um, here's the final one that I created. Oh, nice. So I put a title up the there, title and I, you know, changed the color on all of them. Well, except I didn't do this one. But this one, you know, you kind of have to have the red, because you would know, you know, this, this is kind of nice, because I can see at a glance that my second period is doing better than my first period, but not by much. Right, yeah. But, you know, if this needle is down here, I know I've got to worry about yeah. this class. I like that chart. You know? That's, fun. That's a it's, fun it's one. It's fun, yeah. <laughs> or if it's in the red, we're really in trouble. I mean, yeah. you could do that by student, too. You could create, this is a... Um, all class, actually both period class dashboard, mm -hmm. but you could easily create one just for a student. Right. You know, and that's kind of neat too. So we can go ahead and one thing I did want to show you that is kind of cool about the dashboard, right now we're showing all students, but let's go back to our main sheet and let's add a filter. Okay. And we have a good class on filtering, or not, we have a a um, video. Video on filtering. It's like a class, uh, it's right? Like a class. <laughs> but you don't have to go to some classroom. <laughs> We're going to turn the filters on. And I'm going to go ahead and in student, I'm going to clear all the values and I'm only going to pick Allie. Oh so gosh. now when I go back to my dashboard, I'm only going to see Allie's information. Oh, I love it. So I can see, well, how is Allie doing compared to everyone else? Mm -hmm. And, you know, depending, oh, wait, I should go to my regular dashboard. Yeah. You know, I can take a look at how Allie is doing compared to different things. Mm -hmm. So it's, I think, really nice. Um, I can it's see that Allie that is way. 79 for the average of all her tests, where the class is 78 or 82. So she's right about in the middle mm -hmm. um, of her class. Or you could do two students or one. Right. So that's kind of fun. Perfect. So that's what a dashboard is, and okay. you can use it to look at the information for yourself. Right. You or could just open your sheet and you know, keep track of key things that you want to keep track of easily right. by going to the dashboard tab. Right, exactly. Or what else could you do? Well, you could share the link. Share so the link. So you could to send the else. link to someone else. You could send it to a parent and say, "Check out this is the information." And how on your would we student. do that? 
Well, we would come up here for that, and you would come up here to share. <clears throat> share, just like any Google Doc that you share. Just like Do any Google app. That's right. File. And you can say, you can tell um, whether they can view <clears throat> or edit or right. comment right. and so on, and you can just copy this link and send it to somebody. Or you can email, enter their email. and Right, or right you there. can enter their email, yeah. and you can put it there. You want to probably yep. change it to can only view. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um Yep. In the advanced mode, I can share other ways. I can put it on Facebook. Maybe mm -hmm. um, you're a business, and maybe right. you want to publish your results to the Internet, or maybe mm -hmm. you have done statistics on a race or some kind of contest that you want right. to put out on Facebook or Twitter. You could do that as well. That's fun. Um, and you can invite people to view it and so on. Great. Um, the other last thing that you can do is you can publish this to the web, which is pretty cool. So you can right. put it right on your teacher website or your right. sales website or whatever it yep. is that you're creating this for. To do that, you don't go through this share no. button over here. We go to the file menu and we go to publish to web. Okay. Okay. And here uh, we have a couple of different choices. <clears throat> we can do a link. Now, the other way, um, well, I think this is probably the better way to do it anyway because here you can pick. What you want to share. Right. Like, I don't want them to see the entire... I don't Wait, want them the to share have button sheet. that we just showed you is sharing the whole thing. The whole thing. This is how we're going to share just is, the dashboard. Right. So we're going to go ahead and choose just the dashboard. Right. And um, then you can come down here and select it. Or you can do embed. Yep. And again, you can pick just the dashboard. Yep. And then this is the HTML oh, code that you would put, on your you would put in your website. And then uh, automatic, that one at the bottom, automatically republish when changes are made. Right, which is awesome. Yep. So as things change, it'll automatically update. Right. So it's a you great... can do that with the link, too, if you go back to the link. Oh, right. You can do that with the link as well, which is really nice, too. Yep. It, so it'll, re, it'll update yep. the information. And you might want that, or you might want to just give someone a, a snapshot in time and not have it on. That's right. Then right. you would turn it off. So they give you a lot of options for sharing um, yes. and publishing this information out yeah. uh, to the world. I mean, I think dashboards are just great. I mean, obviously everyone does because they're everywhere. They're everywhere. Right? They're everywhere. <laughs> well, we're in an, in an age of information overload. Yeah, and you so... keep, keep track of the key things you want right at a glance. Right, exactly. Thanks for watching the Sync Sisters Tech Fit. And please subscribe to our channel.